everyone, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. Um, if you like watching videos about motherhood and lifestyle, I also do some vlogs once a week, so please subscribe. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do... My throat's being weird. <laughs> and my nose itches. Ugh. Anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update. Um, as of today, I am 14 weeks pregnant with baby number two. Our first baby was a girl. We did not find out her gender during the entire pregnancy, and so it was a really fun surprise to learn that she was a girl when she was born. Um, we kind of thought the whole time that she was going to be a boy, so kind of funny. Um, this time around, I, like I said, I'm 14 weeks, and <clears throat> we've had one ultrasound, um, which we had last week. Um, but when I went in for the ultrasound, I thought that we were only 12 weeks along, um, and we found out that I'm actually 13, or I was actually 13 weeks along at the ultrasound. So um, that was exciting. I loved hearing that I'm further along than I actually am, or actually thought I was. So that was really great news. The baby was looking really good. Um, the doctor said the spinal column looked great and we could see the baby kicking a little bit and the hand was up by its face. Um, so, and the heartbeat was strong and good. So everything looked great, which is always very reassuring. Those first like 12 weeks, I never want to like get too excited because I just never know like how the baby's doing. I have no idea. So. I love that first appointment where you can get the ultrasound and like finally see the baby and hear the heartbeat and it just makes everything way more real. So that was probably the highlight of the past couple weeks. Um, well, it's definitely the highlight of the past couple weeks. Um, during week 12, I was still feeling a little sick and I actually caught a flu bug as well. So that was probably the worst week yet. Um, yes, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Um, week 12 was not the greatest. After I got over my flu bug, I actually felt much better as in like I could, I didn't really feel any more morning sickness either, which was kind of like really nice. So, um, I'm also feeling a lot less tired lately. I still get really fatigued in the evenings. Um, like I get tired around nine <laughs> at night. Um, but before I was, like if you've watched my previous pregnancy updates, I was getting tired around like 2 in the afternoon and also in the evening, so that has improved greatly the past couple weeks. Um, some new symptoms that I'm having are that I, my teeth get really sensitive. Um, this happened the first time I was pregnant as well in the second trimester, my teeth would get really sensitive to the point where like I couldn't eat a lot of different things because it would hurt my teeth so bad. So that's never fun because like I finally get my appetite back but I feel like I can't eat still because it hurts my teeth which is really weird. Um, I really don't know if that's like, sorry, I really don't know if that's like a common symptom or if that's normal. I have no idea. But that's what I experienced with Regina as well. So anyway, um, another thing that happens sometimes, not all the time, is that I'll get headaches. Um, usually they happen at night and kind of last until the morning. Like last night I had a headache and I figured that I could just sleep it off and it would go away. But I woke up this morning with the headache still. It wasn't as strong, but it's slowly like getting better as the day progresses. So that's another thing that's been going on the past couple weeks. Um, I get hot flashes once in a while, which I don't know if that's normal this early either, but um, it happens sometimes. Like usually it's when I'm lifting Regina out of the car seat or something like that and I'll just get really hot all of a sudden. And it's winter outside, it's really cold outside right now, so I know it's not the weather. Um, Anyway, um, and then I do feel like this past probably week and a half, I feel like my stomach, my 
bump has finally popped. Um, I just shouldn't say finally because I feel like that's actually pretty early <laughs> for it to pop. But um, yeah, I finally feel like I'm showing. Um, but I feel like that always happens to yourself earlier than when other people notice it. So maybe to other people I still don't look pregnant, but I feel like I look pregnant. And it's also to the point where I'm in that awkward phase of not fitting into my pre-pregnancy clothes, but also not really fitting into maternity clothes. Um, so that's been hard to like figure out what to wear. I just wear like huge baggy shirts and like stretchy pants, <laughs> like jeggings kind of. Let me go get my ultrasound picture. I wanted to show that to you guys. And I also have a clip from uh, my doctor's appointment of the ultrasound. So I can insert that in here as well. But let me go grab the ultrasound pictures. Okay, I'm back. So here's cute little baby. You can see his or her hand right there, their nose and their eyes, and then their legs are right there. So, and then this was when we measured the heartbeat. I think it was, yeah, it was 165 beats per minute. So the doctor said that was good. Um, and then this is where we measured how big the baby was and figured out that I was a week ahead of what I thought I was. So that was exciting. And then this is just another picture. Um, so yeah, our original due date, well, what we thought was my due date based on like my um, cycle was August 28th. And, but I wasn't keeping track of my periods very well. They were like fairly regular because I always knew when to expect them, but uh, I wasn't like writing down the exact date that my period lasted or whatever. So I was kind of like, eh, it's probably around here, but I'm not positive. So anyway, then when we measured the baby, she gave me a new due date of August 21st. And Regina actually came a week before her due date. And so the doctor was like, well, if your first came early, then your second will most likely come early as well because that's just, your body just like knows what it's doing now kind of thing. So we could be even be looking at like August 14th ish. I don't know. Like maybe the baby will be right on time. But anyway, that's how our doctor appointment went. It was really fun. I will insert the clip for the ultrasound right here. There we are. Uh, 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 Looking perfect there. Just wiggling around. So you can see that little eye right here. We're looking from the side. So there's our little nose and okay. chin. And that was a little hand right up by the face that you can kind of see right here. Mm -hmm. There's our little heartbeat. Spinal column looks perfect. Let's see if we can get those, those legs in down below. There they are. They're always a little bit harder to get in the picture at this time. <laughs> I'm going to freeze that shot right there, though. <clears throat> and we'll measure. That's getting you... About 12 weeks and 6 days. Oh. Were your periods regular? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Here's this heartbeat right here. Oh, it's wiggling again. We're going to hurry and measure that. 165 beats per minute. That's perfect. Hmm. So, just checking again, no. to be 12, we'd be to about right here. Okay. So this is just oh. showing that you're probably a little bit further along. Maybe you just ovulated a little bit earlier in your cycle. Yeah. <laughs> Stretching out there. That's a very photogenic oh, baby. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we'll do just like last time. We'll do visits about every four to five weeks, and the third trimester every two to three, and then that month before your due date, we'll do once a week. Okay. Checking your cervix, yeah. kind of see, seeing what you want to do. 
Looking so good. There's that little umbilical cord right there in the middle. But healthy baby. Good. Perfect. Okay. It's okay. All right, Regina, we'll turn on. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.